subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Windows 10 Beta. So let's get started. Question number 1, what is desktop analysis? Your answer is, Desktop Analytics is a comprehensive inventory solution that inventories machines, apps, and office add-ins across your desktop estate without the use of agents. It's our go-to tool for determining your company's readiness. Once upgrade readiness is complete, you can enroll any internet-connected Windows 7 SP1, or newer device to begin collecting diagnostic data using group policy settings. From prototype through production deployment, the tool's visual workflow will help you. You can export data to software deployment tools like Configuration Manager to directly target PCs, and device collections as they become ready for deployment if you like. Question number 2, what are the steps involved in implementing the device and app readiness process? Your answer is, to prepare for device and application readiness, follow these four steps. 1. Take an inventory. 2. Prioritize apps and hardware. 3. Test updates for compatibility. 4. Remediate issues. Question number 3. Introduce to directory and network readiness. Your answer is. The readiness of your directory and network is a critical step in the deployment of your operating system and desktops. Your network must be capable of simultaneously sending huge files to hundreds or thousands of PCs. It's critical to ensure that users can access file shares, that files and settings are accessible, and that your network isn't overburdened, as with any automated deployment. You'll set up cloud-based identification with Azure Active Directory as part of your migration to Windows 10 and Microsoft 365 apps. This is required for the activation of Microsoft 365 apps as well as the use of contemporary provisioning technologies such as Windows Autopilot. We'll look at the tools and alternatives for getting your directory services and network ready for deployment in this module. Question number 4, what is Active Directory, and what does it do? Your answer is, Active Directory is a directory developed by Microsoft that is used to store objects, for example, user information, computer, printer, and network information. Active Directory also provides to manage computer networks effectively with multiple domain controllers in different locations with Active Directory databases that are able to manage, or change AD from any domain controller and those will be replicated to all other DCs. Centralized administration with multiple domain controllers in different locations with Active Directory databases that are able to manage, or change AD from any domain controller and those will. Question number 5, what is the Sysville folder? Your answer is, it is a collection of files and folders that are replicated by the FRS, and stored on the local hard disk of each domain controller in the domain, file replication service. These files include information on group or user policies. Question number 6, describe the distinction between a thread and a computer process. Your answer is, a computer process is an instance of a computer program that is performed sequentially by a computer system that can run many computer programs at the same time. A thread is a collection of executable programs that work as a single process. For example, one thread may convey an error message to the user, while another handles error signals, and a third thread performs the original action. Question number 7. What are the benefits and drawbacks of using DHCP? Your answer is, the benefit is that the DHCP server automatically configures all IP addresses, however, the disadvantage is that when you obtain a new IP address, the machine name remains the same due to its association with the IP address. It's not a major issue, but it becomes one when someone tries to access the machine by its name. Question number 8, do you have any experience with monitoring? Your answer is, yes. A system administrator's primary responsibility is to monitor, he or she handles all access privileges and server space, with the security of user accounts being one of the most critical considerations. An administrator must also ensure that the user's actions do not compromise the server's integrity in any way. Question number 9, what is the meaning of group policy? 
Your answer is. All users in the network have expedited access thanks to group policies. It can be used to set security and networking settings for a user. You can preserve control over some functions by using group policy, such as not allowing users to shut down the system, access the control panel, or run commands. Active Directory containers such as OU, Site, and Domain are all affected by group policy. Question number 10. How do you distinguish between permission, rights, and policy? Your answer is. On Active Directories, such as the Site, Domain, and OU, policy is allocated. Users and groups are given rights, whereas network resources such as files, folders, and printers are given permission. Question number 11. What are the meanings of DC and ADC? Your answer is. The domain controller is abbreviated as DC, and the additional domain controller is abbreviated as ADC. The domain controller's backup is the ADC. Question number 12. Review the Windows and Microsoft servicing models. Your answer is. New servicing options, support models, and update timetables are all part of Windows 10 and Microsoft 365 apps. These modifications make it easier to stay up to date on the latest features. New configuration options provide you with flexible servicing plans in addition to these updates. Microsoft has shifted away from its previous practice of releasing large waves of change every three years in favor of smaller, more frequent feature and security or quality updates. Due to the rapid evolution of technology trends and security concerns, this update frequency ensures that users' experiences and protections remain current. Question number 13. Explain the servicing models for Windows 10 and Microsoft 365 apps. Your answer is. There are two types of Windows maintenance updates, feature updates and quality and security updates, which provide cumulative security, reliability, and bug fixes. The following features are available in both Windows 10 and Microsoft 365 apps. 1. A semi-annual feature upgrade that introduces new functionality twice a year. 2. A monthly report on quality and security. 3. Additionally, Microsoft offers a fully supported monthly channel option for Office apps, with monthly updates containing both new features and quality updates. Question number 14. Examine the best servicing procedures. Your answer is. Microsoft employs servicing channels to enable you to select how frequently your specific devices are updated, which aligns with the new manner of providing the feature and quality upgrades in Windows 10. You can have test devices that the IT department updates as quickly as possible with new features, as well as specialty devices that require a longer feature update cycle to assure continuity. Question number 15. Expand your validation of security updates. Your answer is. Builds for Office and Windows are released through the Insider programs before they are sent out to the general public. The Insider program gives you early access to update releases so you can test them on your own system, before distributing them to the rest of your company. Microsoft also uses Insider programs to collect diagnostic data and comments before rolling out updates to the general public. This helps to keep update incompatibilities to a minimum. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.